Nine expeditioners spent 14 months in the Antarctic, and when they returned from the continent, their brains were slightly smaller. Researchers scanned the expeditioners' brains before and after their journey, and they found that when they came back, certain structures in the brain were slightly smaller than they were beforehand. The shrunken portions included a couple spots along the cerebral cortex, which covers the brain and has that wrinkled exterior we're all familiar with. But it also included a region inside the brain called the hippocampus, which is really important to learning and memory. Specifically, one spot in the hippocampus called the dentate gyrus uh, continually builds neurons, which are brain cells, throughout our lifetimes. And by building these cells, essentially builds new circuits and new memories in our minds. This region of the brain seemed to suffer the most damage while the expeditioners were away, shrinking by as much as 4 to 10% on average in each of the people. Based on similar studies in rodents, the researchers suspect that the monotony of the Antarctic environment, you know, fields upon fields of snow and ice out in the middle of nowhere, left the expeditioners' brains deprived of stimulation that we would normally find in our environments. The lead researcher I spoke to normally studies how extended periods in space affect the brain. So say when people are traveling from here to Mars, for instance, the Antarctic can actually be considered an excellent space analog to assess the effects of prolonged isolation and confinement on the human brain. He and his colleagues plan to follow up with the nine expeditioners from this study to see how their brain shrinkage affects them in the long run.